not installed Google Vision earlier so you will have to run this line to install it from github similarly if you do not have EB image you will have to run these two lines without the hash symbol And once you go to their website, since I already have account with Google, so I'm going to go directly to the console. So once you go there, if you look at APIs and services, you'll find that uh, the dashboard provides you some information about traffic, errors, etc. And also what APIs have been enabled. Since we need credentials, I'm going to click on credentials. If you are doing for the first time, you can go to this second option, enter your email address, product name. So I have given a name of BKRAI and other things are optional. So you can just save and follow the instructions. But once you have it, you can click on that and there you can find the client ID, client secret and when this account was created. You can even name this account. You can also download this uh, JSON file and save it on your computer. Let's read the file that we have downloaded into C. You can copy and paste client ID here. And then you can enter the client secret in place of YYY and run both lines. So since I already have used this, I'm going to skip these two lines. We can also make use of line number 15, which can read the downloaded file to get the client ID as well as secret. So let's uh, read an image using file.choose and this image is ny.jpg. If you want to look at this picture you can say plot pick. So this is a place in uh, New York and let me use Google Vision now. I am going to store this in P. So we are going to use this function called get Google Vision response. And we'll read uh, the file using file.choose. So for feature, we have many options like face detection, landmark detection, logo detection, label, and text detection. So I'm going to use uh, label detection first. So let's run this. So the file is ny.jpg. And once it finishes running, you can actually run P and C what's inside. So it then provides a description, score and topicality. If you look at the picture, you can see that the road is very prominent and the score is about 97%. And then it also indicates that it's a metropolitan area and there's a car you can see here and then there are lanes and looks like there's a landmark. So I'm going to copy this and we can slightly modify this to get what we need for landmark detection and the only thing I'm changing here is label becomes 
landmark so let's read a picture file first and I'm going to read this file called bridge and you can see that this is again from New York and once it is done you can run P so it indicates that it's a Brooklyn bridge in fact it uses uh, two different parts of the picture to identify that this is Brooklyn bridge and based on the first one score is about 65 percent and based on the second one score is about 45 percent you can see it also has uh, some more information based on how it identified this picture str and then p so you can see that within p you have a data frame with the two observations and five variables we have seen this description and then scores and then it also has information about bonding poly and about the location so let's see what are those two parts of the picture that were used for this uh, landmark detection so I'm going to use a loop so that we can create rectangles more easily so we are going to use this for loop so within P we have this dollar sign and we are going to use this uh, bounding poly so I'm going to select this and let's use vertices and then for this loop we specify a as p dollar sign bonding poly dollar sign vertices and within two square brackets we can say i so that i goes from one to two and this is for x similarly b is going to be and then to draw that rectangle we can use polygon where x equals a y equals b and we can specify that the border is going to be green in color and line width lwd let's say 10 so either you can select the whole thing or you just click somewhere in the beginning and hit run so you can see there are two parts of the picture that were used for identifying that this is a brooklyn bridge so if you simply select this part here p dollar sign bounding poly dollar sign vertices and run you can see these are the coordinates that were used for creating these boxes so i'm going to use this information for locating my text so 20 and 83 and let's make use of round so that we can round our score to only two decimals and I want P dollar sign score here based on the first box. So we are rounding this to two. So you can see that number appears here. So I'm going to repeat this with second coordinates 82 and 180. And this becomes two. So that's the second box. So you can see these numbers are here. If you want to shift them slightly on the right, so we can do that very easily. I will increase this by 10, so it becomes 30, and this becomes 92. And let's also increase the thickness. So I will plot the picture again, boxes, and text. If you want to increase the size, you can do CEX. So that these numbers are more clear. Let's store latitudes in LA. So we are going to use locations and within square brackets one, again one, again one. And for longitudes, I'm using LO two. So once we have that, let's store this map in map and we are going to make use of leaflet package. So we connect this to the next code. So once you run this and then you run map so you can see this place is uh, in New York this bridge is obviously in New York so instead of 15 if I use let's say only three so you can see you get a world map with that specific location and instead of uh, 
3 if I use 30 so it is uh, zoomed to the highest level uh, let me use another picture now I have a picture called Europe and this is the place so in fact it has used this part of the picture to identify this location if I run P now it says that it is Grosch market and the score is about 70 percent so now if I have this map so you can see this is a city in Belgium it's called Bruges so using a picture you can now detect where exactly this place is located in the world so this is the picture in which uh, we have uh, three people we want to detect which part of this picture contains face of a person so I'm going to run this and if you run P you can see that uh, we get a lot of information so let's start by placing boxes around the face so I'm going to use this loop again so let's use a smaller number maybe five here so you can see in the boxes uh, they detect very clearly that there are three faces we can also make use of the landmarks on the face so if you want to see what is inside P dollar sign landmarks we can see for all three faces detected so there are 34 features on the face that are being used to detect whether it is face or not we'll make use of this and we'll store within B 1 to 2 and then we can use points where X is A and Y is B and we'll use thickness of 2 and we can use color red so you can see for this particular face all these uh, points were used to figure out whether it is face or not so there are 34 landmarks on our face that are being used to detect whether or not we have a face in picture and same thing is true for the second and also third picture so this is a logo we want to identify using a logo detection so if I run P now you can see it identifies this logo to be for University of Massachusetts Dartmouth and the score is about 78 percent so we have this box and if you want to add text so we can use this 54 and 42 and let's use the description this time so we can see it says University of Massachusetts Dartmouth TEXT so I have this uh, picture and uh, let's see if we can detect some of the text from this picture so if you run P you can see that it has uh, detected some text like Cumberland and part of coffee and so on so let's uh, use the loop to create boxes around the text that we have detected so I'm going to copy this and paste it here so obviously some words it could not capture very cleanly so this coffee is just part of coffee so it only identified the C O F F E missed one E here so in Cumberland it missed U so it may not be able to capture 100% text but most of the text has been captured